So now that those days are finally behind us, I feel like it's safe to reveal just how much of a complete joke the security was at the old Linus Media Group headquarters. There was a barely functional video system, remote access that barely worked and only on Nick's phone with no notifications, not to mention the video feeds wouldn't have told us much if anything about a would-be robber and backing it up with some horrible residential grade alarm system on only some of the doors and none of the windows. These were cost-saving measures that made sense at the time we moved into the old house studio, but no longer do now that we've expanded to a team of nearly 10 people and are working on stuff like our upcoming Acer curved 34 inch FreeSync gaming monitor video that's that's coming. Drop a like if you're stoked to see that. Corsair delivers real mech or nothing with their new Strafe Mechanical Keyboard featuring genuine German-made Cherry MX key switches. Click on this spot right here to learn more. Yeah, the old office security was a bad scene, but not anymore. This is our brand spanking new surveillance server from datacache.ca, who we chose to work with for a number of reasons. There's all the stuff on their site. They use only top-notch hardware, like this particular TrendNet switch that they found is great for PoE cameras, as well as the variety of different cameras that we've got, outdoor ones, you know, uh, fisheye ones, regular ones, all that kind of stuff. They've got a three-year parts and labor warranty with on-site replacement, like if something goes wrong, they swap out a new camera on the spot. They have a system to detect if one of your cameras fails and let you know before you have to find out and they're Canadian which maybe we can get like a motion track little Canadian flag I can wave here but none of that is actually the reason that we ended up going with them in spite of having offers from multiple camera and surveillance companies. Datacache whether it's the owner Phil or any of the team members who we've worked with there are just our kind of people. Make sure you check them out at datacache.ca slash Linus if you or anyone in your company needs video surveillance. Their communication was amazingly prompt and professional with questions and answered thoroughly, sometimes too thoroughly, like long emails, any time of day. And if that's not enough, on their site you'll find mention of optional CPU liquid cooling in their machines and hot swap systems for the surveillance drives. These guys are bona fide enthusiasts, which is probably why you'll notice that our surveillance server is ridiculously enthusiast grade. Let's run through the specs. So they use an iStar USA case for most of their builds because while it only supports 15 drives, that's less than the Norco RPC4224 that we use all the time, the sleds are completely toolless. You just slide a bare drive in and bam, you've added more storage to your surveillance system. More on the WD Purple drives we're using in a bit. Poking around inside, the guts of our surveillance system are also hilariously overkill, like to the point where we could dramatically increase our camera count down the road without any slowdowns, even when we're using, you know, uh, more intensive features like real-time de-warping of 360-degree cameras. We've got a Core i7-4790 quad-core processor installed on an ASUS Z97WS motherboard. And while that's not full server grade, ASUS's WS hardware is built for heavy and continuous workloads and gets more validation for obscure hardware like the RAID card that we actually scavenged and uh, threw in here. This is from our old server. Our system's got 8 gigs of DDR3 memory from Kingston. It uses a 750 watt power supply from Cooler Master, although depending on how many drives and spin up power draw, you might want to buffer on the side of a little bit more power supply capacity. If you're actually installing all 15 drives, we've just got 9 in here. And then finally, on boot drive duty, we've got not one but two of Intel's fast and reliable 730 series SSD running in RAID 1, so this puppy would be pretty hard to take out with a drive failure. Which leads nicely back to the hard drives we're using. I like solid state storage as much as anyone, but for a workload like this, the capacities, not to mention the price, make it completely unsuitable. So we went back to good old fashioned mechanical in the form of WD's purple series of surveillance drives. Unlike normal desktop drives, purple drives aside from being specifically validated in a wide variety of security systems, feature firmware upgrades like ATA streaming support and WD's proprietary All Frame, which in a nutshell, optimizes them to handle the very unique workload of video surveillance. That is multiple 
many high definition video streams continuously being written and then overwritten once the drives fill up 24 hours a day, seven days a week in a hot server room environment with vibration from other nearby equipment, all of this without dropping frames in the recording. Something that was a major concern for us because like, What's the point of a security system that runs great most of the time? And then that one clear shot of someone's yeah, face, there's a corrupted or missing frame or something like that. Which isn't to say that I would recommend spending this much on a system that only manages to handle recording videos without corruption and playing them back without revealing too much about this part of our new security setup, because that would be stupid, I can show you some of the cool stuff it can do. So there's a mobile app for monitoring. Uh, this works from anywhere and can actually even stream in high def. This feature you're looking at is called a missing object alarm, potentially very useful in a workshop environment for an expensive piece of equipment that isn't supposed to move. So it can actually trigger a notification to me or even trigger an audible alarm if that object isn't detected anymore. This shows how the viewfinder can be custom to show some very different live view options. So you can set up tiles to see a normal view of a camera, a zoomed in view of a camera with even multiple views, especially useful with fisheye lenses, by the way, possible from the same camera, depending on what kind of arrangement you want. Camera locations can also be overlaid on a map of the building. So you can see indicators for where there are people moving about and check in on what they're doing. Cool. Here we see an intruder alarm and showing how to find a log of these alarms from within the interface. Oh, and this one is cool. Some of the fancier cameras that you can hook up to this system actually support features like zoom and autofocus, which is as simple as just using a scroll wheel on the mouse. But this one, this last one is the killer feature that gets me all excited. Like the missing object alarm, it detects something that's moved, but this one is capable of doing it after the fact. So say for example, someone enters the kitchen and moves someone else's dishes. I can quickly scan through and see who it was. Yes, there is a plan to make sure people only use their own dishes at the new office. Speaking of the new office, this is where I would normally have like some kind of ad or something, but not today. Well, sort of an ad, but it's for a Linus Media Group event on August 21st. We will be doing the first ever in-person Linus Media Group garage sale and just general fan meetup. You guys will be able to come out to the new office, which by that time will have the address listed correctly on the linusmediagroup.com website. So it's in uh, kind of the Cloverdale area in Surrey. And you guys will be able to come out there and meet the crew. We're expecting it to run from around noon to sometime kind of early evening, depending on when things wrap up. We might even be doing like tours of the inside we're gonna try and have some snacks and drinks and stuff there. So uh, come on down and check it out. August 21st, 2015. If you guys are like watching this video sometime in the future, I don't want a bunch of people showing up on August 21st the following year, because that would be super sad. So um, yeah. I think that's pretty much it guys though. Uh, if you disliked this video, I think you know what to do. But if you liked it, hit the like button, get subscribed, and even consider supporting us. Whether it's with our Amazon affiliate code, just using our link, you can check here for instructions on how to do that. Buying a cool t-shirt like this one or giving us a direct monthly contribution through the community forum. Now that you're done doing all that stuff and you guys are looking for something else to watch, you're gonna wanna watch Luke's video on the Compensator, the very finest machine, the fastest we could build using off the shelf parts. It is quite the showcase. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.